It's a new year with some new hair trends to have us looking great on your next Zoom call. We are joined by our friend and hair expert, Aaron O'Brien. Aaron, so happy to talk to you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey, man. Okay, <laughs> let's go over the new looks for the new year, starting with, I mean, it's, it's not a new look. It's an old look that's back. Your take on yes. the mullet. Why, what's the mullet yes. doing back? Why is it back? <laughs> I don't, I don't know why it's back, but it's back, and it's back with a bang. It's streaming across social media everywhere. I call it the mullag because it's basically if David Bowie in the 70s mixed his hair with uh, Mel Gibson of the 80s and it had a baby, it would basically look like Miley Cyrus's cut that she's sporting right now. It's very textured. Um, it has a, it's basically party in the front and party in the back. <laughs> so it has a little bit of softness in the back, lots of layers. Now, I'm not hating on this. I'm not a big fan of the mullet, but they have taken it to the next level. And I do like this a little bit. Yeah, well, you, I, yeah but you got to have the face to pull it off. And you got you you to leave with confidence. To pull it off. Okay, uh, <laughs> then we've got uh, face framing highlights. Why are these a good choice yes. if you can't get in to see your stylist? So this is fantastic because a lot of people are doing their hair at home right now. So the frontal highlights is probably the easiest thing you can possibly do in your hair. What this involves is just taking the front section of the hair and you can highlight it or you can add a lighter home color or something along the lines of that. It's just two thick pieces just on the frontal hairline. Basically, just if I had this here, just at the front, and it basically frames the face, contours, gives it a little bit of a lift, and this is also trending in a big way across social media. Okay, Aaron. Uh, there you uh, go, there, it's perfect. There we go. <laughs> uh, a couple of words I never thought I'd say. Peekaboo extensions. Um, yes. They, they were getting popular <laughs> last year. Obviously, that trend is yes. continuing in 2021. I sound like I know what it I'm talking is. about when I read it off the prompter. Yes, it's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, Pickaboo highlights, they were really big last year and they've come back with a bang. And it's again, because people can't color their hair. So what they're using is extensions like this, clip-in extensions, uh -huh. and they're basically putting them underneath the hair. So it gives definition in the hair. It adds a little bit of color and um, people don't have to color their own hair or damage their own hair. And it just adds, like I said, a bit of definition. And this is huge across social media platforms with people coloring their own hair. Aaron, just to circle back to the first thing we were talking about, could you use those peekaboo extensions to accentuate your mullet? <laughs> Yes, you could. So, Ben, <laughs> I wish you had extensions there. Maybe you could try some on and sport it for us. Uh, I, I, I would love to, Aaron. Sadly, we don't have the resources here in studio for me to do that for you today. Uh, all right, let's move on. Anyone with uh, natural waves will want to pay attention to this. Yes. You're going to show us how to get this hair trend that's taking over TikTok. What are we talking about here? Yes, it is indeed. This is called plopping. It's called so plumping? So basically, I'm going to show you myself what I wig. <laughs> it's a beautiful wig. Does that wig, self. does that wig have a name? <laughs> oh, it's called Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you'll do, you'll saturate your hair when it's wet. You can see this wig is quite wavy. You're going to add a leave-in conditioner into the hair. You'll just basically scrunch it in. And you can use your fingers to comb through your hair. Or you can use a wide tube comb. After that, you're going to, allow, you're going to lie a t-shirt. You can put it on a flat surface. Just like this, you can use a cotton pillowcase or you can use a cotton towel. You're going to lay your hair forward. You're going to place the back over the neck and then you're going to roll the front and gather your hair. And then you're just going to tie it in the back. Now you're going to leave this sit for a few, um, a few hours just to let the hair dry, maybe half an hour to an hour. Some people even leave it in for two hours. Then you're going to take it out like that. And then, bam! <laughs> you got beautiful curls. <laughs> that... <laughs> That's how it works, Ben. That's how it works. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, oh, you just made my day, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem, Ben. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Bye, we'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.